Hey toy fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and you can't do a Age of Apocalypse uh, line unboxing without actually unboxing Apocalypse himself. So here was the ruler of Age of Apocalypse. This was an X-Men Marvel Legends wave for Age of Apocalypse Marvel's Apocalypse. So they must not, they, they must have had to add Marvel to that to get the trademark apparently. But um, this is a, was a deluxe figure, slightly larger. Uh, not the biggest figure, but it's still pretty pretty big, pretty imposing. Um, different piece of art on the side of Sabinor himself. And on the back, he got what looks like just a glamour shot of the toy. And it says, Marvel's Apocalypse. Apocalypse launches an offensive against humankind in pursuit of a world where mutant ru mutants rule and only the strong survive. Yep, and, uh, and he won. He, he pretty much did it. Um, there was basically the X-Men in Age of Apocalypse were pretty ragtag. Like there was, uh, they were living underground wherever they could, they had a, um, they had a mansion still. There was like all, all secret, you know, and they were, they were just basically a resistance and they had a couple of different fronts where, uh, how they were fighting back against them. And, uh, and it came down to, uh, came down to the wire, um, pretty cool but uh but yeah he basically if you were a mutant you were ah there goes all those guys they were all employed let me just pick up glasses real quick they were all employed by apocalypse um so there you can see a, a picture of him in the background all blue let's toss that and then oh that's cool didn't notice that it's got a separate cape um now he is Kind of got a, a different color scheme than the the six one six apocalypse, where it was all all blue. This one had some red and it, and a little uh, little yellow in it, but yeah, pretty much pretty much the same. <laughs> Look at that dude; he's happy. He won. He he did it. His plan came to fruition. He ruined the world. Made uh, put the. The mutants in charge and and just turned all of uh, everybody that was against them into a slurry and made some like uh bio sentinel soldiers <laughs> it was some wild stuff going out of there man he is ripped look at that arm he, you can he's he's bulging right through uh i don't know if that's just skin probably just skin right there no armor um <laughs> it's pretty pretty crazy when you think about it because then he's he's actually just got like a little a little loin cloth spot there if, if he's not wearing anything but these shoulder pads but who, who knows um yeah, i'm pretty sure he's uh uh got like the celestial armor or something along those lines but anyways um he's got his head kind of moves it's got this piece of armor up top it's kind of Kind of awkward to be honest like in between the shoulder pads it's i don't know if it's a separate piece or not it looks like it, it might be to be honest like it might come off but um what else <laughs> i kind of like i kind of like the the <laughs> the crazy little maniacal laugh he's got going there that's pretty fun um and looks like he has an alt fist um yeah i don't think i need the alt fist because his alt -a, his alt accessory is pretty good, but he does have an alt fist. And is it the same fist as uh, as Colossus? It looks like it. It looks like it's just a repaint of the Colossus fist. So there's some some retool in there. And here's his normal <laughs> his normal grimace. But man, when when he is uh having a good time that he just let it out you know i guess if you take over the whole world split it up amongst your horsemen <laughs> that's that's basically where you get um he has single jointed elbows double jointed knees though so he's got double jointed knees single jointed elbows kind of kind of loose but man he uh <laughs> <laughs> he's he's pretty spry, man. I I am uh I am getting a kick out of this uh apocalypse how uh he, he basically is just so happy. Man, he he did it. <laughs> he did it. He smashed his foes and 
basically he's got him on the on the back end. Uh, so normally, you know, it's usually not going as good for Apocalypse. You know, they usually they usually stop him right at the right at the beginning. And uh, they're wild for this one. His his uh, <laughs> his skull that he's that he's got as an accessory. It was this was just this was Xavier's head. I, I mean skull, I believe. Um, just because he also had uh, what do you call it? Does he? Can he actually just hold it? Probably just sits in his hand and just looks at it and talks at it. It's like, I did it. <laughs> I did it, Xavier. You're dead. So, yeah, you know, some people <laughs> some people like to go to people's graves and do terrible things. But he, he needs he needs the skull to talk to <laughs> Xavier. Um, and uh, what else did he have? He had Wade Wilson's head, but Wade <laughs> Deadpool was still alive. It was just like, just had his head. Just kind of like a court jester type deal. Just, uh, just right there. But yeah, he, uh, it's pretty hard. Oh, <laughs> gonna lose. I'm pretty sure it was Xavier's skull. I might, I might be wrong. It's been a while since I read it. I read it a couple years back, but man. Um, and it's got what looks like a, a softer plastic, um, for his cape. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to take off the shoulder pads, but no, no dice. He just, he just plugged right in there, huh? We'll see. Let's see how this works. Um, and, yeah, you know. <laughs> it, he's doing his super villainy right, man. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have a little theatrics with the cape. So, that's, uh, not too bad. Um, dude. <laughs> you know, you gotta, he's doing a Conan style, like, from, uh, the movie, you know. Uh, the crush your enemies, you know. <laughs> before you know, <laughs> the lamenting of the women and all that um pretty good pretty good so he's a he's a big boy is he just standard you know, cyclops was one of his horsemen for a while i want to say or he was running x uh factor x it's just one of, one of his cronies in that world you know just sniveling sniveling cyclops his main uh his main rival was Magneto, and they had uh, an epic, uh, epic finale between the two, which I, which I loved to this day. So it's good. It's good. I wish they had gave him the trash armor, to be honest, uh, that he created to fight him. But you know, can't have everything, I guess. And is he as big as Apocalypse, uh, Colossus? I mean, are they the same size? Uh, roughly. I want to. Yeah, I would say they're pretty much the same other than the texture of the uh of the armor but yeah big boys um oh let's see stand them straight up yeah uh i'm i'm gonna go ahead and, and say it maybe colossus has a hair it's a hair taller but um and, and apocalypse looks a little bit wider but they're pretty much the same so very cool um, gotta have Apocalypse if you're gonna, if you're gonna do Age of Apocalypse, just figures, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad he wasn't a Build-A-Figure, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you picked up Apocalypse, if this, if this is your, if you like this one, or, I'm, I'm sure most people prefer the, uh, the, what do you call it, um, oh, that was interesting, just took off. Just took off the head and there was a couple of rubber bands underneath there holding I'm guessing holding this armor piece in place so but there we go there's the there's the grimace that we're all used to so do you like this apocalypse do you like the regular apocalypse I like them both um but yeah I'm just <laughs> that that smiling head is is too good for me I'm going <laughs> he he's loving life right now so anyways thanks for watching see you next time